Hey guys, it's Carl and today I'm going to show you my team for defeating the world tour. Here's my team. Ancient power and baton pass. The item I give them is metronome, which is probably the best item to give to any any of your Pokemon that isn't the main fire, water, and grass type because they don't really get that much buff items. Yeah. Uh, you could give them all these items, but it doesn't really matter. You have berries and stuff. But I think this is the most useful. They all have store power. These two aren't really that useful, so you could go with a team of four store power users. But let's get started. At first, you want to build up as much buffs as you can on them. Usually I hope to get maybe 3 ancient power by the start of this. But it doesn't always happen. I'll have this guy all the way at the bottom to know when I need to pass the baton to attack. I'll do it with the second helping hand passes. And there we go. Now throw it on back to the top. And they can kill their both electrodes before they explode. I had all these buffs, but I don't really need it anymore. After this, you want to move your store power in the middle row, one, one spot down. Now I have enough buffs to pass to the whole team to have their full six. Now it's just a waiting game. You move your store power to the second floor. I move these guys here so they hit two power generators. When he appears, use my covet. He's gonna take his stone. There it is. And then I'm going to kill him. Totems, the power generators shoot you. I have protect and stuff, but I really don't need it. Okay. He seems to be hurt for some reason. And I can buff, which I rarely ever need anymore. So you just leave them here in the middle row, it doesn't really matter until the second wave of Rotoms come. I always let one go, but it really doesn't matter. It ends at 710 so the wave should be changing but it gets stuck here. Now I move my guys to kill the generators. The fight's pretty much over. It's just a waiting game now.
I attack these one side ones because they only have one spot they attack. These have two, these have four. So I kill the the ones that take longer first. See as you can see some of them got debuffed from whatever, so I didn't pass it. Which isn't really needed. It's just a waiting game. There's nothing else left coming. And this is the end of the fight. I also get additional stone. Alright, that's all. Good luck, have fun.